Hello everybody, welcome to Zanzana live stream metal interview. Tonight I have the pleasure to have with me Mr. Herman Frank. Uh, hi Herman, thank you for being with us. Uh, hi, how are you? Fine, thank you. And you? I'm fine, pretty fine. Thanks so much. So, uh, the, uh, the, the news about um, Herman Frank is this, the album, Two for Lie, the <laughs> new album, fifth uh, album of, with uh, this um, configuration, uh, <coughs> Herman Frank, uh, I think it began in uh, 2009, 20, uh, 20, uh, I think, uh, 2009. The first, the first, the first album. Of, Maybe uh, you're right. I, can't, I, I guess you're right. I even can't remember. It's such a long time. Um, yeah, I mean, it's more than ten years now, and I'm, I'm pretty glad that I put out a new record, and I think it sounds very well. I heard Venom. For, I didn't hear hear Venom for a couple of weeks. So thanks to for your playing in the show. I could have a listen back. Yeah, yeah. I, I was listening. I was showing you uh, listening and uh, seeing the uh, the video clip um, carefully. So, um, so what the um, what what were, were you thinking when you you saw it? I think it's a pretty 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 uh, fun, a good song, and I do like the riff in the beginning and the kind of like melody guitar in the beginning. And Rick uh, is doing a wonderful job on this one. Very, very catchy hook line. Cool. Nice lead solo, as I heard back. <laughs> I, I, I guess that's a little bit to do this slide. Yeah, yeah. And all the album is like, like this. Uh, the, the album, Two for a Lie. Congratulations with this album. It's a very, 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 very good album. Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate it. So, Ivan Frank. Um, First thing, first, the first question, you know, about uh, this album, um, before, um, before recording an album, before thinking about uh, writing a, a new album, obviously there's, uh, I think, there's, uh, there's an objective, you know, there's, uh, uh, there's a, a will to, uh, to try something new or to, um, to, uh, to, to make uh, some changes. Um, what were the, the will uh, before uh, um, composing, writing uh, this album? I guess it's, uh, it's not that easy to explain. Maybe I'm just uh, always restless and wild. <laughs> nice words <laughs> in, this, in this case. Uh, it's it's just coming out of your mind, uh, out of your head uh, all of a sudden, you know. If you had released an album a couple of years ago, then all of a sudden it's maybe it's just to, just the right time to start with something new. And then you're gonna mostly if I if I'm practicing guitar in the morning for a couple of hours, then you come up with some new riffs and you record them on your iPhone very quick. And then you go to the studio and try out to make a song out of it. And hey, all of a sudden you start writing, you are in the process of, process of writing a new album. And after two or three songs or four songs, you might see the end of a tunnel and you say to, will say to yourself, wow, this is going to be something great. And, and then you continue. And I guess it's, in a normal period that you release uh, every two years and a new album. I'm in, I'm in this very process like this. I try to keep myself very busy. Yeah, yeah. Um, and um, I guess that uh, there were a lot of riffs that you recorded on your iPhone that uh, didn't uh, come into the, the album. How do you choose the right one? You know, how do you say, ah, okay, this is very good and this is not... Uh, that's just a matter of taste. <laughs> that um, that's the difficulty of um, to make a decision. I even can't tell. I mean, it has to be in the style of Herman Frank. It has to be catchy to riff, and it has to be worth to work on it. And for some riffs, you won't come up with any verse or any any 
a chorus and then you throw it away. And for some, in some cases, it's much easier to come up with the whole song. So there might be a couple of riffs left, but thank God, hey, there will be another album too, you know. So maybe I'm on the safe, safe side for the next album already. I don't know yet. Uh, of course, these days, um, I re as normal, I recorded more than these 10 songs for this album. So it had been maybe 15, 16 songs. But these days, I erase all the last songs. The songs that had been, that they didn't make it on the album, I really erase. After, yeah. after, um, uh, had, after the final mix, I go, go back to my studio and erase them. Yeah, um, no, um, no second chance. <laughs> no, no safety, no, no net. Uh, uh, if I put it this way, if, if, if they still in my mind after two or three years, then they might be worth to be recorded. But yeah, I don't have any safeties, any, anything left. And th that's the way I'm working since a couple of years. Because if, if, if they, as I said, if they're still in your mind, and then they might be worth to re be recorded the next time. Yeah. And it worked out well so far the, the last couple of years. Sounds strange, but uh, it always is. No, it's uh, it, it, okay. It's a, it's a, it's a way of uh, of working, and I I, I understand because uh, maybe you say okay, these songs were not good enough uh, for being in an uh, Herman Frank album, so no no way to uh, to to get them for uh, to to get them second chance. And as you said, if they if they stay in the mind, uh, it means that maybe <laughs> they need some uh, recover. <laughs> Yeah, if if you forget them, you know, then they hadn't been worth it. <laughs> so <laughs> it's just a matter of yes or no, nothing in yeah. between. As I said, I'm doing I'm doing music like this, no less, no right, right, straightforward. I'm always stra looking straightforward, and I'm a guy who's looking for the future and not for the past. Yeah, you're right. Um, so um, and. The process of decision, is it only uh, Herman Frank uh, that, uh, that decides? Or do you um, listen even to the, the, old, the, the other band members? No, <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't listen to anyone. <laughs> maybe, maybe for, uh, once in a while I, I, listen, to, I, I listen back to, to Rick, because he has to sing all the stuff, you know. Uh, there might it might happen that I send out a demo song with my vocals on it, and Rick uh, says back, um, Herman, I can't do this. That's impossible for me to sing. <laughs> so that then I have to think back and and come up with some other idea. But normally uh, it's my decision. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. It's I never ask. Uh, as I remember, I never did ask anybody. Oh, I want to do this song. That's that's the most comfortable situation anyway. That's the reason why why I started with my solo project because I can, I might choose the song I really have in mind. So yeah. I take the decision and I take all the blames or <laughs> if that blames blame it to blame it on me. Uh, but I'm the master of disaster in this project and that's the way it is. Yeah, and. Um, um, Tell me, you you uh, you wrote this uh, this album uh, during the pandemic. I'm, I'm not uh, I'm not uh, speaking about accept song. Huh? <laughs> oh, so okay, yeah, I I, I see what you what you want to ask me. Uh, actually, for the writing process, there hadn't been any big differences. Um, the recording was different because you because i hadn't got a chance normally I, I show up in sweden in rick's little studio because he's recording his workers in his own studio uh, that gives him a chance to sing on tuesday maybe it happens something on tuesday good ones uh, if if there's nothing happened and there's not a good result he's able to do it on wednesday thursday whenever he wants to and normally i show up for the finalizing the workers the end version for one or two weeks in sweden to work with Rick on the on the final result, and I couldn't do this 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 time because of Corona. 
So we used a lot of Zoom, a lot of Skype, a lot of phone, a lot of whatever. We didn't use any pigeons <laughs> and didn't write any letters, it was faster than for, for Zoom, but kind of like difficult. Um, I, I prefer to work with, peop with people if you're doing music face to face in the same room. Uh, so it was the same situation with Muli, the bass, uh, and the drummer, and the other. Uh, you know, you have to send out very specific demo likes with a, with a bass line, so everybody knows what he has to record. Uh, but for the drums, um, he showed up in Hanover, actually, personally. We tested 100 times and every day. And then he, uh, at least he was able to record his drums live in front of, 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 of uh, I was sitting in the control room and, and I can charge right away for the recordings. It's the same I did with uh, the bass, with Muli. And Michael, um, um, the new guitar player, Mike, uh, he's actually out of Hanover, so he lives next to my house. It's kind of like easier with him to work. Yeah. But next time, I would, I would, I would love and prefer to have the boys in the same room a couple of weeks to practice the songs. So it was quite, I was quite exciting how the end result was out. But I'm quite satisfied with that. It worked out well, but yeah, was different to the other one. Yeah. So now uh, they have to uh, to make the the vaccine, you know, <laughs> to uh, so so they can I think, travel. I so think they everybody. Can... <laughs> Yeah, everybody has to get vaccinated. Uh, I mean, uh, just for the reason you, I, nobody wants to get sick, you know. <laughs> yeah. Easy like that. Yeah. It's a terrible yeah, situation. Yeah. It's it's, a, it's kind of a strange situation, but hey, we have to go through that. Yeah. Um, did you get? I don't know. It's it's a private uh, question, but uh, if you can answer it or no, as you like. But so did you get vaccinated? Don't ask. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got my. I, I, yeah, I got my first shot, and I'm just waiting for the second one. It will be in July, because um, if you want to travel in kind of, in any kind of doing music, you have to be vaccinated. Um, yeah. All the professional promoters, they're asking for, they're asking the, the, the musicians, if you work with an agency or any promoter in, in foreign countries, they're asking for uh, vaccinated musicians. You can't travel without uh, vaccination. It's not, a, maybe, it's not maybe it's not allowed, uh, but a, it's just, they just put a needle in there. So what? Yeah, I did yeah, a couple yeah. of I, other I things would... in my life. I did a couple of other risky things in my life, and I survived it. So, hey, if you go, if you go for South America, you get uh, so many vaccinated vaccination for any disease, and 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 just I just do it. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. Of course. So uh, even me, uh, I'm going to be uh, vaccinated next uh, Saturday, uh, the, the first one. So uh, I encourage everyone to, I guess to get vaccinated. Uh, I get yeah, I guess it's the only chance to share social life in any kind of, and especially for the music business. Hey, yeah, people have to have, have to get their vaccination. Won't and work in other ways. How did you left, Herman uh, Frank? How did you la left the? Um, how did you leave the? Um, you know th that situation with uh, no concert, no shows, uh, being. Uh, you know, uh, confinated, uh, you know, uh, no show business, no tours, nothing. Uh, maybe it's a, for me, it's a, 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 the situation is a little bit easier. I toured a lot in my life. I, I'm doing this for, for since maybe 40 years now. So there had been yeah. always one year or two years in between. You hadn't, hadn't get any live shows or there was no band ready or no project right now, which was able to tour. So I know the situation that you won't go out on tour for one or two years. Um, it, I can handle this maybe easier. On the other hand, everybody, also me, is waiting to get out there because rock and roll, that's what we live for. Um, but it, it's, not, it's not worth to complain about it because you won't, you won't change the situation anyway. 
it, it is like it is. You yeah, can't do anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, you can't do anything to, to just to get a couple of live, live shows. And uh, uh, quite honestly, I wouldn't risk to do a live show right now. Uh, there are maybe 100, uh, 800 to 2,000 people in the show and 50 go back sick. I, will, I don't want to be responsible for that. Yeah. So people and, uh, have, no, just I... to have a little bit. People have to have, just live in patience a little bit and calm down. It, it will come back. So it may, might take a half year uh, more than a uh, half year more and then it's over. And then everybody really enjoys the shows. Maybe again, you know, everybody yeah. freaks out if, if there's the first show. Cool. That's kind of good feeling. So you're looking forward. It's like Christmas. You have to wait also for a year. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a gift. Now, uh, making a concert, being on stage now, it's a gift. Yeah, you're right. You said it. And maybe people remi uh, remind themselves that concerts is a very special thing, you know. Yeah. So it's a gift, as you said. Good work. Yeah. And what do you think that, uh, you know, uh, I saw that in the United States, uh, there will be uh, uh, concerts in, uh, in September or October. There's, uh, there's a festival, you know, with uh, Metallica and other uh, big names. Um, I think in, in October, uh, they um, do you think, is it, isn't it too early to, to come back to, to the shows? <laughs> I, I, I mean, I, I can't give you an, a, a really right answer to this. Um, as I hear, I hear in the news, US, um, they say everybody will be vaccinated in, in end of summer. So if everybody's yeah. vaccinated and it works, that, that might be okay. It depends on the situation over there. If I would give you this answer, I would be might be, yeah, in the high political. <laughs> Nobody. Yeah, I mean, okay. from Ch out of Germany, you can't answer this question. What, what the situation will be in America? It's impossible. I hope that they will be vaccinated, and if they are, and if you if they if it's no risk anymore, then then they should go for concerts. Why not? Yeah. So this album, um, two for a lie. Why two for a lie? Because <laughs> I can. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Uh, it's always hard to come up with an album title. I mean, it's, yeah. for me, it's much easier to write 10 songs than to come up with a pretty nice album title. So this time, this happens actually by accident. I sent it out Venom, the song you played, and yeah. there's a line in the, in the, in the ly lyrics, truth or lie. But as a demo version, Rick sent me back. Maybe it was mixed bad or something. I don't know. I mean, he's a singer, not, a, not, a, not an end sound engineer. So he sent me back, and I, I understood two for a lie instead of tr truth for a lie. And I said, hey, that's the album title. It's, it, that's exactly what this, this, these times, this time needs, you know? I mean, as, as we look back also in history or right in these times, if there are two people or three people, that there's a chance for a lie. So I said, oh, that sounds really cool in, in these days, or in, especially in this year or in the last, for the last year. And I said, that's the album title. And in the same second, this kind of like picture of the album cover came up in my mind. Two for a lie. One is, one is screaming people, two people screaming each other. The good yeah. one and the bad one. The good, good and the beast. And if you think back for history or for, for a couple of people that are doing, they're, they're always in the news or in the internet, there are so many lies around. Wow. It's going worse yeah. these days. <coughs> yeah, yeah. That's yeah. why I came up with this title. To maybe just, just I, I would like, some, some, once in a while, I would like to scream to somebody of these guys. <laughs> Yeah, um, and the um, the lyrics. How about the lyrics? Um, do, do you write the lyrics, or do you? Um, or is it uh, Rick? I think that you're saying that uh, write them 
uh, how, how it came. I give when I do my do my demos before the, uh, for, for the, the demo songs. I'm the most of the songs they already have a kind of like vocal line on it and a couple of words for the for the chorus. So I give let's put it this way: I give Rick a couple of or a lot of ideas what he what the story may be behind the song and what's the, what's the word for 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 the catchy chorus. But in the end. Uh, think about uh, as a singer, we have to uh, to sing the, the lyrics in a real powerful way, especially Rick, and, and they have to sound good and have to make fit with the melody. And uh, if I would have give, give him lyrics uh, with words he even couldn't spell, he couldn't sing it. So in the end, he's resp responsible for the lyrics, and he's doing that quite well on this uh, thing. And as I said, as a singer. It's better to leave it up to a singer because he has to sing them and in with a loud voice and stuff like that. So if I would come up with the words, wow, <laughs> would be why. And a lot, if I only, if I would write the lyrics, maybe it's just always a fight, hate, we fear, whatever. <laughs> always the same, you know, kill the kings. <laughs> yeah. Um, Aaron, you, you told me in the beginning of the interview that, uh, you know, um, Preparing this album, it's uh, you, you make um, you, you work on your your guitar and uh, there's there's riffs that, that come and uh, you, you try and you test them and you record them on your iPhone and after on the studio. Uh, yeah. But in this yeah in this album, um, is there something that you change uh, in the in the way you played in your technique? Uh, I don't know the sound of your guitar, maybe a new guitar, new chords. Uh, um, what uh, or is it always the, the same old Herman Frank? <laughs> I'm so sorry that I have to tell you I didn't change anything. <laughs> I stick to my old stuff, to my old guitars. Came back to my. The, the guitar I really love. It was handmade in 87 by a German factory called Duesenberg. And I'm still using my old Engel amps. Uh, quite the same thing. It's the style. I mean, I put my, my name, Herman Frank, on it, and everybody expects uh, that it sounds like Herman Frank. And maybe I found the way I want to sound, and uh, there's no need for change for me right now. Uh, so I didn't use any other specific guitar or any other specific effect on a guitar. Actually, I'm so sorry. Normally I should tell, oh yeah, I used a different mic this time and we we recorded the guitars in a tunnel so we have to reverb and stuff like that. Sorry, there's nothing, there's no secret this time behind it. It's just uh, the secret is in the left hand <laughs> and in the right hand. That's that's all I can say, and it, it, it's, it's your mind and it, 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 it's your heart. Uh, yeah. Ex there, for me, there was no need and uh, to change anything because I really do like this in the way I'm doing. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's a sign, you know. It's uh, Herman Frank's uh, receipt. So yeah, it's it, it is it. The sound, the yeah. play, and uh, that's it. Yeah. I I th think. Maybe it's a kind of trademark, or I create a kind of trademark with, with my songwriting and with my album. So I really don't want to change it. And yeah. as you know, I do have a couple of other bands uh, which I play my guitar. And so I do have different playgrounds. Let's put it this way. And on, and on each playground, use certain things. Yeah. And. Um... Okay, it's it's the same guitar from '87. I think you you told me '87, '89. Uh, what what is the um, how do you choose yeah, the, the guitar? Yeah, '87. How do you choose your, the, the guitar? Why, why this guitar is uh, is still the, the the same guitar with you from all these years? You know, um, what is the the secret? It's uh, the wood. It's uh... <laughs> I guess so, and, but don't ask me for the specific kind of wood. It just sounds good, and no, they no. shape the neck. In, they shape they shape the neck in the way 
of my hand. They, so they measured up my hand and said, oh, we do it in this way and, and shape it like this. And they used just good wood and, and pretty old, old pickups these days. And so I, I, as soon as I grabbed this guitar, I fell in love with her. So I came okay. back. In, in, uh, where, where, I mean, in, in except I played the Flying V, I also enjoy playing Flying V. These days, if, if for the last couple of years, I play this guitar, the Duesenberg, and for them, I sometimes I choose my Black Heritage Les Power because this gives a more kind of guts to the rhythm sound. But on live shows, I, I mostly I play this one guitar, the Duesenberg, and for a couple of detunes, I use the, the the Black Heritage. So far in these days, two guitars, that's it. Yeah, yeah, and it's the same guitar that you play in the morning uh, uh, when you wake up and you make the your rehearsal. Yeah. Actually, I have two of the <laughs> two of the Duesenbergs. So um, one is more maybe sometimes or the most times the, the the really good one is in the studio for recording because it sounds she she's sounding better and for practicing i use the same model it's it's exactly the same shape same same pickups same everything but so i don't have to carry them always around you know uh, guitars are not yeah. made for carrying around and, and so i'm i'm taking really care about these guitars so the one is in the studio, so I don't don't break and break a neck during traveling or something. Yeah, yeah. And uh, how about the the amps? You know, I got Herman Frank, you know, with me, so I have to, to ask all these <laughs> questions. <laughs> how about the amps? Just go for it. Um, <laughs> you know, now there's um, there, you know there's a little things like this. You you plug it and they give you a. Uh, a very big sound for rehearsal and things like that. Do, do you do them or do are you still you know with the uh, old once in a while once in a once in a while I use them <coughs> especially if you if you go for maybe a uh, for festivals um, yeah. I I started in except because we had a lot of flying shows so you just fly in fly out for a festival and there's always rent rental gear. So once you're lucky and you have a good amp, once you're not lucky and you have a bad amp. And just to skip this problem, we came up with the camper profiling stuff. And this gives you at least 95% of your sound you have back home, or if you have a good amp. And you're able to carry them in the plane or travel with them. It's just like a handbag. So for these situations, I'm sure I use these these kind of like digital amps why not hey they are made for it so just use them and it's even better than than the most of the rental gear but if i'm recording for a record or it, uh, record guitars to my studio i as i said i use my my kind of like old amps and the angle straights i have three of them maybe they yeah they're also out of the end of 80s so they they had been a little modified from Mr. Engel himself. <laughs> so they, they just sound good. And so I do have a couple of other amps uh, they, they're saying, laying around in the studio. And once in a while, I use this one and this one and this one, which whatever it needs or whatever I think in this moment, oh, this song needs this amp. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in the end, in the end, over the angles just sound always the same. <laughs> I mean, you turn yeah. the knobs and 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 the middle and the bass in this way you want to hear it. But the the, yeah. gr the ground, the ground sound is perfectly for my for the kind of like guitar I want to play. So in the studio, so I... more or less the real the real thing. And for traveling, I use honestly these digital amps too. Yeah. So, I mean, Frank, this is the album, Two for a Lie, uh, that uh, everyone can now uh, buy it, uh, you know, on vinyl or on CD or on MP3, um, maybe better, you know, on vinyl. Um, isn't it frustrating getting out an album like this and not being able to uh, play it live? It's just just bad. <laughs> it, 
I even, uh, I mean, the band is kind of like very hard to go out there and play the play the songs live. Uh, for for the safety reason, we are planning a tour in May twenty two. Yeah. I know it's some time, but it that's there's no other way to 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 plan in a safe way these days. Yeah. If you would, if if we would have planned a tour for September October. Uh, Mm, nobody's sure if this will happen. Then you have to reschedule, reschedule this, and reschedule, reschedule. And so we said, a hey, give it, give it a chance, and put it on the safe side of for the safe way. May twenty two. It's in Europe, and maybe we do it, maybe up to twenty shows. Yeah, and uh, that's the only um, way you can do it. Yeah, I think yeah, yeah it's uh, it's uh, it's as you say it's it's uh, it's safer, and um, I think um, now with the uh, with the Corona thing, you know, and uh, the fact of being uh, confined at home and not being able to to get out, uh, I think that you maybe you have a lot of new riffs that uh, maybe uh, that can go out for a new <laughs> album in uh, 2022. <laughs> <laughs> Some people ask ask me this, and yeah, <coughs> it might be a year from 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 now on. Uh, I I think I, I have to talk back I have to talk back with the record company. <laughs> they might be surprised to put another record out in between one year. Mm, I don't know if they they want to do it or I want to do it. But hey, maybe in in a, in four six weeks. I'm getting tired of sitting back around, uh, back home, and just playing guitar for myself. Maybe I start with a new record. Why not? Might be a good idea. Okay, sorry, I have to stop now. I have to go to studio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bye, bye. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Herman Frank. It was a pleasure having you with us, and uh, stay safe. Bye. I just I didn't want just want to I didn't want to stop you, but the next partner of interview is waiting, so I'm very okay. sorry about this. It's, it's okay. Like... It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Thank, Thank you, you so very much. much. I appreciate. I appreciate that you take your time. Maybe I come uh, sooner or later. I will visit you at your hometown. Okay. And Thank you very so much, much, and hope to see you in Tunisia one day. <laughs> hope so too. Bye bye. Take care. <laughs> Bye. Take care. Zanzana, l'émission métal.